Burke-class destroyers carry a variety of missiles. SM-2 standard missiles for surface-to-air attack. Harpoon anti-ship missiles for over-the-horizon surface threats. VLA missiles for anti-submarine warfare. And Tomahawk subsonic cruise missiles for land attack. Should any threats slip by the ship's missile defenses, Burke destroyers are also fitted with six torpedoes and two types of machine guns. The reason that the R. Lee Burke seems so barren of weapons is that they are hidden deep in the hull in the vertical launcher system. The vertical launchers consist of two launch cells, one in the bow and one in the stern, containing 90 missiles. Today's destroyers can attack enemy ships over 50 miles away using anti-ship missiles. We have the Tomahawk weapon system, the TASM, Tomahawk anti-ship missile variant, uh, that can reach out quite a distance and be able to put a, a warhead on a ship for a somewhat closer in action, but still over the horizon. We have the Harpoon cruise missiles, uh, anti-ship cruise missiles. Those are pretty common throughout the Navy. For close in action, I have the option of using my gun system, my five inch gun system, or I can use standard missiles in their surface to surface mode. Can also, of course, control aircraft, and the ship is designed to be part of a carrier battle group, so we can use carrier based aircraft, or for that matter, land based aircraft, and direct them to, con to conduct engagements for us. The long reach of the Tomahawk adds an unprecedented level of firepower to the modern destroyer enabling an attack on land targets hundreds of miles from the sea. Until the advent of the Tomahawk, the only tactical naval weapons capable of such range were carrier-based aircraft.